you're already I think this. <laughs> I already think this. So it could kind of be anything. It's weird to do that at the M17. It's, it's good for this. It's good wine. football wine. Yeah. And the football is footballing and the wine is whining and where else would you rather be on a Sunday afternoon? Alright, so the smorgasbord of the world brunch is done. We are now heading off to the MCG where we're going to meet up with uh, my mate's dad, or family friends, who used to be the head winemaker at Bleasdale. Uh, we're going to do some wine tasting at the MCG and yell at some Richmond players about how their primes are all past them. Can't wait. Uh, Freel and Richmond Cedar should be about 90,000 euro. <laughs> so, especially like for the US viewers on this one, like you might not, like I love the MCG where we are right now, which is why I've been doing so much like filming and stuff here. Like this place is so cool. You've got this downstairs area, right? So I'm just hanging out down here where there's like food stores and toilets. And it's worth keeping in mind, this is like one of the biggest stadiums in the world. There's like a hundred thousand capacity here. And then you're stuck down here, go to the toilets. And then these seats were $27. You walk up here. It's about to be half time. We're gonna do some wine tasting stuff. Uh, got this bar called the MCG Express, right? And it's one of these places that you don't even, like I'm about to just tap my car, walk in, grab stuff, and then walk out apparently. Let's we'll see how this works. So I just walk out of here. Hey. <laughs> I just walk out. <laughs> so yeah, tasting time. Uh, we is this all it is? Yeah, we got four cans of wine. Wow. So Noah, we've got uh, we're at the MCG, one of Australia's uh, arguably one of Australia's biggest venues for booze. It, 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 as far as by volume, by volume consumed in this venue, it's probably one of the biggest. Yeah, absolutely. It heaps. It heaps. It's a hundred thousand people. Yeah, it's massive. It's one of the biggest sporting arenas in the world. And they've actually got a range of four different wines here that we're going to taste through. <laughs> So, what do you want to start with? The Prosecco? Yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah. The Prosecco, all right. So we got Squealing Pig, produced by Squealing Pig Wine. On the Stone Highway of New York. Not bad. Yeah, good terroir on the Stone Highway. We've got 250 mil. I'm not a massive fan of canned wine, so it's two glasses of wine. Yeah, so that's... Is that two glasses of wine? Two glasses of wine. I've ordered eight glasses of wine for half time. Yeah, Treat responsibly, obviously. But right, here we go. All right, let's see. What do you think? One sip, one reaction. What's the, what's the nose giving you on the can? Uh, it, it does smell like, it smells like fresh fermented crabs, which is a good thing. That's a good like, start, like yeah. Well. And it's also got this kind of like musky, musky kind of... Yeah, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. Also, I've just realised we should absolutely be doing this face the other way, so we've got the MCG behind us, most random people. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad? Very sweet. It's extraordinarily sweet. Wow. That's like, um... It it's, wants to be passion fruit, but it's not quite passion. Fruit. It's pure grape. It's, yeah, it's, 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 like that is the flavour of grape juice. I don't know it's wine, but like it's wine. Big time. But no, it's not enough visit to it either. I reckon, it's no, it's not acid. For a canned wine, I'd want it to be more bubbly. But like, also a bit of orange juice in here. Have you brought your own OJ? It's still pretty. And want it to do like lunchtime mimosas with this shit. 100%. That would be you really good. You ask to go to the beer stand and get a couple of like uh, uh, empty cups and just buy a cake. Yeah. Like, get some of this and okay, you're on. That's actually a really good idea. That's a really good idea. All right, let's go to the Savvy B now. The scourge of the wine world, New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. Doesn't, I, it honestly smells like an aluminium can to me, to be honest. <laughs> Which, is, if, that, if that is the case, because like Sauvignon Blanc is supposed to be the most aromatic white wine of our age. When people open up a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc, you should be able to smell it from across the, bar, or across the room. Yeah. So if, you, if you're only smelling can, that's a problem. I think that's very odd. That's very odd. 
Uh, yeah, that's pretty much Sablon. Blanc. It's passion fruit and grass. Yep. Uh, and, and cat's urine. I think it tastes really great and really cat pissy. Is what yeah. I think that one tastes yeah, like. So it's, it. so it's, it's on brand. <laughs> <laughs> I just realised we're being billed while yeah. I'm filming Yeah, we've got for, we got fans in the, yeah, in the wing. It's nice that they don't realise that you can actually <laughs> turn cameras around. Out of the can of the footy, that's alright. I just don't think I like Sablon very much. No, I need that away, but that's okay. I'm okay. All right. I've already got. I, I, you and I are both. You and I are both rosé enthusiasts. It shouldn't be hard to make a rosé in a can. Absolutely. Yeah. It's strawberries and cream. Yeah, it smells like pink red cream. Yeah. It's a no-brainer. That's, That's a absolutely no-brainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of your can, can wine for this, this what you get. Yeah, I reckon you get. If you rock up with two people, you buy two cans of the Prosecco and two of the Rosés. You do mimosas in the first half and then you do Rosé in the second half. Such a shout. But Such a shout. this red blend, do you think this is going to be like a heavy red blend or do you think this is going to be a light red blend? Uh, well, let's look at the booze. So it has to play an alcohol percentage. 5% Five percent alcohol. 5% alcohol. This isn't white. Hang on. These are all 5% booze. These are mid-strength wines. I mean, we are at the footage. This changes everything. everything. <laughs> these are diluted wines. What the fuck? Yeah, that's why they all taste like water. <laughs> that makes that rosé so much better. And that makes yeah. it so, that's why the Sauvignon Blanc is like, like more chill now. Like. Yeah, it's watered down. Yeah, that's hilarious. I didn't even realise. Oh, already I think this. I already <laughs> think this. Like, if it's, it smells like a heavy red, but it's going to be 5% alcohol. So Ooh. I think it's just going to be dodgy. Oh, no. It's, and it's really sweet. It's a really sweet. I don't like that at all. Like, oh. I don't know. That's that's rubbish. That's absolutely. It rubbish. actually it does just taste like you've had a red wine with like heaps of ice in it and then let the ice melt and now it's gone to this like. That's exactly. Glittery... It is. That's that, that's that's not much. I suppose. Yeah. Like I suppose it's like they. <laughs> to be fair, if that was fourteen percent wine, we'd be getting pissed right now. Yeah. Exactly right. I've got no idea how much these cost now, because again, I was just in the bar that was like, walk out and take whatever. Yeah. I hope these weren't like $14 a thing for like... I doubt it. No, nah, for one standard drink. So what are the recommendations for MCG wine connoisseurs? Uh, if you want to know the tinny, get the rosé, no, and then also get the, do the Prosecco with those. Do the Prosecco with those. With that being said, I have seen that there's a Malbec behind the glass at some of these bars, and I think that would be an absolute shout. All right, maybe three quarter time, we'll go, we'll go home and see if we can find some wine in actual plastic, like some actual yeah. wine. Some actual port wine. Yeah. Like, the tinnies are a good option, and these actually aren't bad with the 5% booze, but no. just get the rosé. That's all yeah. I think. Or just bring your own wine in a drink bottle and smuggle it through. The security here is pretty relaxed, to be honest. Like, I brought a camera in. I don't think I'm meant to have this here. Anyway, uh, I'll see you three-quarter time. Thanks very much, mate. Actually, you tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's not the wine that you think it is, because they didn't have uh, Malbec. the Malbec. Okay. So yeah. pick the wine. So it smells very like blackberries, black cherry, all the, all the black fruits. Kind of got that lactone thing. Red fruits, things like that. So it could kind of be anything. It's weird to do that at the MCG. Really tan. Oh, it's got some tannin. Yep. Some grip. Yep. And it's really black fruity. Um, I may have also just had a Mentos that was like blackberry flavored as well. That's pretty fair. Um, so that may have been. That may have a bit of palate fatigue. It smells like wine, which is a nice starting point after. What, the I, last what I will say uh. is that it is probably really good football wine, where it's it's like it's it's easy drinking. It's spicy. It's like great red wine. Yeah. Um, but it's not necessarily the most complex thing in the world, which you know, it's not what you want. You're here no, to watch something because else. We've, got, we've got this going on out here. We don't need to have like complicated wine thoughts going on. No, 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 right absolutely now. not. Um, so I'm going to say it's the GSM. I'm just going to say it's a little red blend yep. um, of all those things, which I think is perfect for this case. Yeah. I quite liked it. Yeah. I'd get, I'd get two bottles of that at home. I'd two bottles? Like, How much would you pay? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? And two bottles. That's not bad. Um, it's a Shiraz. Okay, so uh, the second letter, right? Yeah, and that's all I know. It wasn't on the menu and I didn't see him pour it, so... Uh... Uh, but, but it'll probably be from... Uh, it'll be Wine of Australia. Yeah, Vind, uh, Vind Australia. Vind Australia, but it's good. It's not too um, syrupy. No. It's that. It's, it's good for this. It's wine. good football wine. And the football is footballing and the wine is whining and where else would you rather be on a Sunday afternoon? Yeah. Abs absolute pearl of a day for it. Absolute pearl. So, go, Cheers. go Dockers. Well done, Dockers! Woo! So uh, just editing the little vlog from yesterday and realized that we didn't really say anything at the end of it, did we? So this is the end of the vlog. Uh, what are the key takeaways, Noah? Um, Preston Markets rule. Bopped. Uh, Textural white wine when you have a smorgasbord of 
uh, like <laughs> breakfast options. He's Absolutely. A great way to go. Uh, Red Rooster is slept on. Red Rooster is slept on, dude. That's <laughs> amazing that that's one of the key takeaways from our It's a key bit, takeaway. Yes, but... If you, for those internationally, it's a it's a semi niche fast food chain here in Australia. Respect the chook. Yeah. It's Poland. Uh, and then if you go into the MCG to watch the footy, do not bother with the canned wine. Like maybe yeah. the rose. Yeah, maybe the rose. Quite nice. Um, but yeah, just go to the go to a real bar, get yourself a glass of. Australian Shiraz, it fits the footy really well. Or just drink beer like everybody else. Or just drink beer like everyone yeah. else. Wine, wine in the football is is not necessarily the greatest coalition of things. Nah, the channel's not called Beer for the People, so get the red. Not yet. <laughs> not not yet. yet. Yeah, not yet. Uh, but yeah, thanks for a nice day, Noah. That was sick. And uh, more vlog content coming your way soon.